waving again. Hey, what's, hey. <laughs> what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Q and A. Um, this week, I have a new mod with us. Mod Stu's out. Mod Rowley is in. Do you want to introduce yourself? What you do? Well, I wouldn't say new. <laughs> well, not new. I'm quite old. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Mod Rowley. I make content. Cool. That's pretty much it. What's the, what's the you working on Vampire Quest right I now? I am indeed working on Mareki Part Six right so now. So there's going to be a lot of people in the chat probably very happy to hear that. And then to introduce yourselves as usual. Mod Kelpy, uh, project manager, lead ninja. Um, Mod Pi, ninja, game engine dev, I do combat stuff. I had a question this week that suggested that I agree with you too much. <laughs> did you see it? <laughs> I'm a very agreeable chap, thank you very mm -hmm. much. <laughs> anyway, it was worded <laughs> slightly differently. <laughs> okay, how was it? Do you want to say how it was worded? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, usual Q&A format. You can ask questions in the Twitch chat. We're going to be taking more questions from the Twitch chat this week. If you'd like a poll on something as well, feel free to like spam it in the chat as well, and we'll do like a straw poll if you feel like one. Um, same with the Twitter. There's a Twitter hashtag down there somewhere, and um, you can ask questions on there as well. Have loads of questions from Reddit and the forums, as well as the Twitter, uh, Twitter from earlier, which we'll go through. We're also going to be showing a pretty cool spotlight today of the D&D improvements. Realize, yeah. Yeah, well, so improvements, yeah, not reworks. Impro yeah, improvements or reworks? What you it's get? improvements, it's not reworks. I haven't reworked so, it. Yeah. Still them. Mopai has been improving D&Ds all over the place, and we're going to go and check that out um, in-game about middle way, about 30 minutes in, halfway through the stream as well. We've also got some cool stuff to show you on Falador. Falador? Yeah. But, but that's the question there. But that's, that's to come. Mm. OK, so first question. I've got a load of serious ones about luring that we're going to go into very shortly. But just as an icebreaker to start off with, uh, I was going to go into with the minigame Spotlight Imminent after we showcased it last week. Uh, can I ask you what your favorite minigames are? Do you have to ask? Yeah, I have to. OK, Castle Wars. Let's be honest. Like, <laughs> I spent my life there for like, so long. Yeah, I remember Castle Wars way back up on the top of the, uh, the stand. <laughs> Mage and people, range people, being annoying, crystal Bar bow. Yeah, <laughs> off offensive barraging. Yeah, enemy standing respawn. in the enemy beautiful base. Beautiful days, beautiful days. <laughs> Look at you agreeing him again. No! Castle <laughs> Wars! Castle Wars is no. better! <laughs> ah, um, I don't know, I quite like pest control, I think. I always enjoy that. Wait, so. I'd say, as probably a skiller, it's got to be stealing creation. Stealing, no, stealing, right, stealing creation, okay? Get your 20,000 <laughs> points, stand yeah. in the jelly. No one can see you. You can't get kicked from the team. That's There's nice. another good one for stand, barrage and respawn, though. Stand hidden honest. in the jelly. Or, like, you're that guy that goes in there first time, someone's told you, go to this team, they're really good. You attack the other players, and they're like, they, they're like, no! <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Uh, for me, I'm going to say, it's a, it's a toss up between Barrows and the Fight Caves. I don't mm. think you can class them as mini games. Are they classed as mini games, Barrows and the Fight Caves? I don't think we tend to, really. Uh, mm. If I had to go more of a skilling one, then oh, what would I go with? This is a tough one now. I think I'd go with Sorcerer's Garden, kind of. Really? Yeah, I like that thing. Like <laughs> learning how to like one click it. Like, yes, <laughs> one click yes. the Sorcerer's Garden. I like the Sorcerer's Garden. I thought it's quite cool. If not pest control, but Joe pest control like way pre nerf when it was uh, yeah. you run in like kill other portals as fast as you can then like spawn outside run back in <laughs> I like that no, anyway I like that now when you get a bunch of people going you you gotta wait for the shields to drop man mm. Mm. it's not as cool okay <laughs> he doesn't know. I don't agree with he you he doesn't understand <laughs> <laughs> anyway um, that's the icebreaker over we'll go into a more serious topic of luring which has come up this week. From I'm Val said, in the wake of the recent recent luring discussions on the likes of Reddit, does Jagex have anything planned to combat the risks to players? Um, so first off, it's worth saying the laws that were abused, um, the ones mentioned at the top of Reddit, they're getting getting fixed. All of them, because um, someone someone gave out a thread of everyone every law they knew in the game right that, now. Those are being investigated. Next week, you will see a rather specific law, the specific law that they were talking about. I'm not going to say it on live stream because I'm not going to tell people how to law, but um, that one is getting fixed. The people involved in that law have all had actions taken against their account. Um, we take this thing very very seriously. It's not something we're just going to let lie. Um, we're also in discussions about. What we can do when you're going to like drop a high level item, like a really expensive item, like so that's there's no looks like reason a solution, for it to show it to someone else. It's a solution, really, isn't yeah. it? To just add it. So if I drop my party hat, it just doesn't appear for other people for longer. It you well, can't. Well, you the can't. We're talking about is it just doesn't show to other yeah, people. Yeah, to say, would you like it to make it yeah. so you just can't no drop a reason to drop trade? Not really anymore, is there? No. So. 
I can't see any advantage you'd get from it. I guess that's no, obviously it's open to discussions. We're not just going to yolo this in, but um, is that what you do sometimes? <laughs> right, I'm, yo yolo. Guy, I'm yolo in this. Thing. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're in discussions about what we can do um, on a more global scale to help combat these kind of laws. Like, yeah. When I when I first heard about it, I was thinking back to. Do you know how if I, if I trade with someone right now and I uh, put something up and take it away, it gives me you know, that big warning message, I can't mm. press accept. And those are like obviously good measures to stop people swapping items out, scamming, that kind of thing, back when things like the, the Halloween mask, for example, never used to say what color it was on the second screen trade. And you'd have yeah. scams of charcoal or armor I trimming. I, I got scammed for a Saraset, right, back in the day, and I was I was sad. Like, it was a sad. A set. Man, I got lured for a red party hat. <laughs> that, like, I just had to go outside and do nothing for a while. Like, the rage was powerful. But I, I feel like I learn a lot from that experience. Like, I will not be scammed again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I think I, I feel like I learned a lot as a person from being scammed like that. Do you worry that, like, if you just fix everything, you don't get to, like, learn those things anymore? But then... The wealth of rares these days is so much higher than obviously losing it back then. Yeah, so. I mean, there, there, there is the baby scape discussion to be had, but um, when when you're talking about people just taking advantage and they're just they're not that you know they're just being horrible people. The like it's yeah, not like a, a cool are, yeah. gameplay thing anymore. It's just pe like people just friending so. you to, yeah. to backstab you. I guess. Do you want to do a straw poll in the chat on the? Not rare items not appearing on the floor. Should we cool with that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I've yeah, I think it's seen some comments that are kind of against it. So thanks for yeah, yeah. I can understand why people would be against it. That's why I said we're in discussion. So as I'll always mention with a straw poll, it's purely just to gauge interest, nothing more than that. But there'll be a straw poll in the chat in fifteen seconds or so, and then we'll come back to it afterwards. Anything else you want to sound luring before we move on onto something else? Um, no, not really. Nothing from myself. Not me Obviously, you know, if someone tells you to drop your party hat and walk 10 spaces don't do it you know be smart like yeah, if someone I if don't someone, have a party hat yeah. <laughs> if, if someone tells you to oh get out your car keys drop them walk <laughs> over there turn around close your eyes like just don't do it if Fair. it sounds too good to be true it probably is yeah, yeah probably probably is <laughs> Okay, we're gonna. But while we wait for that straw poll to come in, we're gonna jump into another big topic question from Flare Fox. Would it be possible for us to get a world where Solomon's cosmetics don't work? A non-SGS world, perhaps. So that's not something we would want to do. I mean, that adds a bunch of maintenance issues. It slows down updates. You you have to do more with each update, sort of thing. Um, what we would much rather do is make it so that the cosmetics that we're adding to the game are a lot more fitting to the game, they're a lot more fun, they don't, they're not a nuisance, um, so that everyone's just you running around with them, it doesn't you know, impact your gameplay or anything like that. Obviously, you know, with some recent stuff, we've gone beyond what we probably should have, um, we've learned from that, um, you know, it's not as desirable, so obviously that's something the teams are working on um, moving forward sort of thing, so yeah, that's, that's really the preferred solution is making them more fun, not Make it, making stuff thing. fit in rather than yeah. extremes to make people. Yeah, work. there's a there's a bit of kind of you. Some people saying it doesn't feel like a medieval fantasy setting anymore, sort of thing. And you, know, that's something we've discussed, and we obviously want to bring that back. You. Okay. So, like being the host, I want to come back with a question from the player of like how, like how do I take your word for it that you that that's the direction you want to go, and it's not going to like go beyond far beyond the lines again. Um, well, I mean, we're, we're having these discussions. You, we. We have a good number of meetings where we do review what the players say. Um, I, for example, lead one on a, a monthly kind of like we think about you know, our monthly releases and how players you interacted with them, how they saw them, rather than how we necessarily like saw them. Um, so we do take these like learnings out of them, and we are applying them to <laughs> to future to future projects. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's worth saying. Sorry, I'm just seeing in the chat. When we say drop an item, we're talking about right-click drop, and when we're talking about what items were like, like really expensive items. So, like if you just wanted to like drop a few pots to your mate whilst you're killing. Oh no, it's going to be like rares. Yeah, like party hats. Really, really yeah, you that know, your kind pumpkin, of thing. your disc, your cracker, your. But Easter um, like stuff yeah. like the wilderness would not be changed, and if you died 
and dropped items, that, that wouldn't be changed. It would only be if you physically right-clicked and chose drop. Probably should have specified that before the poll. Regardless, yeah. it came in with a with pretty much 50-50, slightly higher on the no, but interesting though. I thought people would be more for that. For Yeah, well, this is why we need to do these things. I, I guess we should, yeah. yeah. So actually interesting result. Um, I'm going to jump to you, Mod Rowley, quickly about yeah. Menaphos. I don't have a question specifically, right. but the last two weeks, we've had a question about Menaphos both times along the lines of like, what would you like to do personally with Menaphos? Those kind of things. And I know that Mod Stu, he, uh, that's a kind of area of the law that he's not so engaged with. Yeah, However, yourself, yeah, sure. you are. Have you worked on any of the quests for the Desert Law? Right? I, well, I'm Desert Curator. So oh, I, there, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't even know this. I, I should have known yeah. this. Um, You'd, you'd think I'd know what I wanted to do with the place now. Um, okay, let's just, first question then. <laughs> we'll start off with, if you could do anything. Yep. So, just, just so you're not getting this. If you could, not, <laughs> potentially not getting this, right? <laughs> if you could do anything with Menafos, what would you do? Um, it's, a, it's a tough one. I mean, I, I wouldn't want it to, I'd want it to kind of fit in between the skills that are covered in Elf City. So, things that, it doesn't do. Okay, we so like the there. ones left, obviously the eight clans. Yeah, six but it, even then, it's not as a higher, high level region. So it would probably be a little bit lower level. More like a but unique for a few things, like a niche. Or? Yeah, I, we'd want it to be, I think, best for the level ranges for accessing it in certain skills, like how Pyramid Plunder is like the best or very high up thieving XP. So we'd want to look at that kind of content. Um, in terms of lore, I mean, there'd be a port there, but beyond that, and a, a pyramid and a palace, it's quite open, really. And the same way we did with Briftonus, I think we'd open it up to a player discussion and see what they wanted more, rather than what ideas we had. Okay, fair enough. And then, are the players likely to see anything with Menaphos upcoming, like, sh soonish on the horizon? No. <laughs> <laughs> At least you got an honest answer, so... There, there no, aren't any active uh, desert projects at the moment. I mean, obviously I'm working on vampires myself at the moment. Uh, maybe if there was a, a Rune Labs thing to say, hey, let's get some more Desert Quests going, finish that series off a bit more, then we could see Menaphos. I mean, I've seen the idea of Menaphos come up in Rune Labs quite a bit. Maybe it will win and we'll do it sooner, but it's not pl planned currently, no. Okay, fair enough. So, nothing right now, but at least what's nice is the players get more of an honest answer, but there's nothing there right now, but you can get it with Rune Labs, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, talking about Rune Labs, someone asked any hints on June's project. I thought with Rune Labs, it's nice just to every week go over what is happening right now. Yeah. So the poll that's out at the minute, what's yes, closed, so what's open. Currently, the, the current month's criteria is for October's game content release of uh, Halloween update. So people are suggesting their Halloween themes, kind of like events and whatnot. Um, next month uh, hasn't been fully determined. We're probably looking at a medium size piece of content. Um, it's for November, we're sort of aiming for Inventor, sort of like November, December, so it probably won't be something skilling related, I imagine, um, might be something a bit more combat related, um, we'll have to see, but haven't fully decided at this time. Okay, and then what about the poll that's out at the moment, it's part of the moment? There's no polls. Okay. <laughs> we have with the... The last poll we had was the uh, fishing, the oh, Elf the City, Alf Walk Alf City fishing, fishing which won. Yeah. It won only just off the. That was it. The wandering yeah, slayer close. masters. Yeah, yeah. it was close. Um, Do you ever worry when it's that close that it was very close? Because in my eyes, I'm like wandering slayer masters where it's at, and then Elf City fishing wins. I'm like, oh. I kind of like it when it's close because you it gets people kind of like on Reddit on the forums and such, kind of like debating and and talking up their their you their preferred option sort of thing. Um, it creates a bit of buzz and it's, that's kind of cool. It gives um, and it you know, gets more people talking about it so you get more ideas for those kind of suggestions coming through and stuff, so it's quite nice. It gives more insight as well into the tough decisions we sometimes have to make between two options. Yeah, and then I guess, can we see a walking Slayer Master in the latest Vampire Quest reward? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 nope. It just implemented it <laughs> in nice like try, <laughs> I tried, I tried to <laughs> All right, and uh, next up, I'm going to go into one from LT Shadow. Can we please have the option to toggle the Horror from the Deep God books between the pocket and shield slot? That's, that's kind of... It was a Rune Labs thing that came out not too long ago. No, no, it, it was, and it's something we're definitely looking at, but we're looking at it alongside a lot of other items. I can't really call the, say what the name of the list is, really, but... <laughs> yeah, 
for S. I don't it know. it, yeah, it, the, it uh, rhymes with pit list, just to put yeah. it that way, right? <laughs> I think I called the, the, the meeting invite was the S hit list. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, 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 the God books are in with a bunch of other things like Defenders. Um, the, we're going to look at giving niche uses back. Um, and God books being pocket slot and giving like t niche stat changes in the pocket slot is, is a good, exa good example of a good suggestion from you guys and one that we had definitely have written down. Yep. So, I mean, yeah, look for some of that stuff coming out from the Ninja team yeah. in the near future. Um, so, we have a question from the Twitch chat which says, um, question for the mods, if you could show us what you do in your role, what will it be? I don't understand <laughs> that question if I'm honest. Mostly these are sitting at a desk all day and <laughs> yeah, like, so typing. These, well, the two of you are both developers, so you develop things, go on the forums, talk to the players. 50% crying. <laughs> 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 Paint that wonderful image. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, it's, it, it would be very boring for you to <laughs> for me to show you me just coding. I'm just booking tons of meeting rooms, <laughs> getting angry when there's no beating, meeting rooms available. Um, but yeah, <laughs> wandering around, speaking to people. Um, the one next one I wanted to go into was based on that question. Um, you're talking about the the S hit list that we're mm -hmm. looking at. And it came in from Air Alter. What will be the next big project with a dev blog for the ninjas? Which is interesting because it went out to today. Didn't yes, it? Yeah, well, it went mm. to this morning. we had two go out today from Mod Hunter, and you can expect to probably see another couple going out over the next week or so. So prior to today, the last one was your the D and D improvement, D and D yeah. improvement. So um, with the the kind of like new look ninja team, um, all the developers are kind of ready to take on new projects. So Mod Hunter today posted one for chat improvements. So we're going to do like a big batch of chat improvements. Um, check out his thread for kind of like more details on some of the ideas, but we're obviously looking for player ideas. All, all threads are found in the Ninja. Forms, yes, Ninja yeah. subform. Yep. Yeah. Um, he also posted one for a Ninja spotlight on Artisan's workshop. So a kind of spotlight is the kind of stuff that the guys have done in the past with uh, yeah. like the circus improvements. Um, we take a, a short amount of time, like a week, maybe two weeks. And for that whole time, we'll spend on one area of the game, try and improve it as much as possible within that time, and then kind of like move on to the next area. So if like you on the injury fixes are kind of like the more you know, kind of you know, anywhere in the game sort of thing, what we deem to be like the most important sort of stuff. And then this kind of improves like one area of the game at a time sort of thing. Um, other than that, uh, you can expect to see dev blog shortly about um, clan funnel. So kind of making it easier to start up a new clan, to join a clan, to move from one clan to the other one. Um, maybe look at recruitment, um, like you making it easier for clans to recruit sort of thing. Yep. Um, we are, so Togglescape um, gets branded around quite a lot. We're going to look to centralize all these kind of toggles. Um, Go take game setting, so take it off of, off the NPC. Yeah, yeah. Things. So yeah. you don't have to like run and find this one NPC to change this one thing and whatnot. We'll put it all in the kind of like one big settings menu. Um, that's going to probably be done in a bunch of batches. So I imagine it's not going to be done in one go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, so I mean, these projects are all early, early days. They're just starting, so we'll need to see how this sort of thing goes. And then, um, Mopai, do you want to speak about your one? The Which? Grand Exchange. Oh, yeah. So currently sat in my to-do list. It was one of the questions. I think. Mm -hmm. I, I've got it here. It was yeah. my next one. Why don't you ask me this question? I'll give, it's, it was from Air Alter as well. Yeah, so yeah. so it said, last week, uh, Old School confirmed eight Grand Exchange slots. Will we ever see more GE spaces? Uh, so currently added? sat in my to-do list. Next thing for me to do is add more two GE slots. So Two more for members, one more yeah. for free to play. Right, so you go from three, two to three, and then six to eight, yeah, respectively. Yeah. Yeah, same as um, same as what I was called. Yeah. Yep. Cool. And then the nice thing to say is that all of those spotlights, all of those areas and projects, they go up in dev blocks. So yes, yeah. You get you get to have your input and your say on those <coughs> topics as well. So it's mm -hmm. not just yeah. So it's, it's like any project that goes through the Ninja team. Like as soon as we get the design doc finalized, it's straight away before we even start dev, it goes up ready for your feedback. Um, it's this thing that we've always done in Ninjas. So, I know you yeah. do a lot of things like that for things on player imports. Do you do it for the vampires? 
vampires is more storyline you want to choose. Yeah, yeah, it's hard it's, it's to do that. You want to choose. I, I know you've had uh, Morana involved, obviously. Uh, yeah, with there's the that storyline as well. Spoilers as well, I imagine. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we we do that a lot on the Guardians. We try to like converse on the forums, but most Adding Rune Dragon is another example where you can take feedback yeah, on exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. But for this one, most of it has come from Morana. I mean, she's the one we're listening to for this one. Um, so don't take it personally. <laughs> we'll ask you about the next project. It's but fine. you guys are also working on Inventor, and I imagine you kind of like what you did with the Elf City with the design docs and stuff. You can probably see some of them again for that. I'd imagine so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's design documents for the Aquarium as well. So every yep, now, every now and again, um, Mod Osborne puts out some cool design documents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're prettier than our uh, Death Logs. <laughs> 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 he takes it to a new level for your team. <laughs> <laughs> um, Going to go into another quick question, um, which was fairly topical this week, and from Loosh on Reddit, but also his in-game name is Sausage, no. and uh, first hardcore Iron Man to max with 120 Dungeoneering, so is it Dre Re max first, but I think he came in second, but managed to get 120 Dungeoneering first. He is asking about what are you going to do about getting comp cape on an Iron Man? It's currently impossible to take off a few of the final requirements. I know some of them were changed originally, but a lot of the things were, will come back to that when players start to get towards that level? Yeah, um, so I think part of those are the group bosses, I believe. Um, I think there's some music, said music tracks in mm -hmm. minigames as yeah, well. Yeah, which we said we we're gonna, we said we we're gonna do the, the group bosses, um, and I think we can look to do, because there aren't that many, so I think we can look to do those at a similar sort of time. I think you said 22 or something? I think yeah, right I mean, number. yeah, I'm not totally sure exactly what we'll do for each one, but I think we can definitely address that. We can find an alternative sort of or something. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what like, Mod Easty did originally with some of like, the task sets and stuff, um, made like alternatives for stuff that Iron Man can do. So we would do, look to do the same sort of thing with those, I think, and make it possible. All right, cool. And then I was going to enter another kind of icebreaker question. Well, do you want to show off the D&D &D improvements? We're going to show off some D&D &D yeah. improvements as well as some other things in a second. So if you head off, I'll look ask this question. From Sir Eos Lee, any foods you'd love to add to the game? <laughs> I was trying to think of something, a food that wasn't already in the game. Oh, I, I pretty much eat cheesy chips and beans in the canteen every day, so <laughs> more of those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, can you get chips or fries? Don't think so. I don't think you can. There's obviously no. cheese, I don't think you can get fries. Because you even get things like bacon rations and stuff now, so it's mm -hmm. like there's a lot of obscure things out there. Oh, yourself, anything you can think of? Uh, I don't know, we've got, we've got chocolate milk, maybe we should just expand that, just put some bananas in there or something. Oh, well, maybe. It's not a bad shout. Um, I was going to, is there, can you get duck? There's ducks in the game, but can you cook <laughs> duck? I don't think so, yeah. <laughs> no, Mega duck. duck, that'll be nice. <laughs> really big roast duck, not Very bad. Fatty. All right, anyway, um, and then I guess quickly while, um, Mod Pi is still setting up the D and D improvements we're about to show. Quickly, another one is: last week we heard Mod Stew talk about his favourite area of the RuneScape lore, and then sell it to the players about why he likes it. Uh, what if you want to do the same, being another kind of, you know, lore specialist? Um, yeah, I'm, well, I'm not sure. Like, like Stew, I, I wouldn't try to sell the lore. I think it either sells itself or it doesn't. Players are either interested or they're, or they're not. Um, and if you're not, I mean, the only thing we can say. I'd say is that the lore of this game is so diverse, there's probably something for everybody, even if you're not the sort of player who thinks that lore is of interest. Uh, just give it a chance, just try different things out. If there's some other film or, or book or something that you've been interested in that's, say, about vampires, then try our vampire content and see if there's a hook there that you like. Um, and that diversity is probably my favourite thing about the lore in the game. So it's what about your favourite area of the, what's your favourite storyline, quest line, something like that? Um, favourite, well, I, it's hard to say really. There's, there's stuff about all of them that I like. Uh, I'm going to be biased and say the desert. It's a bit sprawling, it's all over the place. Um, but some of the ideas that we've got in there I really like. Cool. Are you ready, my pie? Yeah. I'm all right, we're going to jump over, I'm going to go join him, and we're going to have a look at some D&D improvements. Wait, you all right, guys? So I'm just going to go through these. So I'm probably going to go through these pretty quickly um, because we've got a lot to go through. There's been a lot of improvements. Just slid in next year. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, no. It's fine. After um, all, I do agree with everything you say, Sid. So. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, so first thing we're going to go into is going to go into Champs Challenge. So Champs Challenge, 
Um, first thing I'll say, I'll get the disappointing thing out of the way. We're not going to make it easier for you to get scrolls. Sorry, compers, but it's just not going to happen. Um, I just annoy people who have done it, and it's supposed, yeah. to be a, it's supposed to be a challenge. Like Exactly. Like <laughs> You don't want to take away that kind of achievement. However, um, for each one that you have unlocked, you're now going to be able to fight them once a week. Um, and the amount of XP you get is going to be, like, it will scale up quite nicely. So it's nicely. not going to be the original, like, here, have 35 Slayer experiences. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's going to be much better. So, like, obviously it scales to, between, to the difficulty of the champion. Um, so, you know, I'll take on the gnome one at the end. So um, everyone unlocks the leprechaun, because the leprechaun is the tutorial. So okay. everyone can come here and do it. But you probably don't want to with the leprechaun, to be honest with you. So we're just going to proceed. Let's get rid of, I don't know what that item is. Um, we're going to go in. Oh, this one's this one's like, and we're just gonna kill the leprechaun. This this uh, this one this one is the most exciting champion <laughs> of the lot, as you can see. Like, I like I like how he just kind of works out before the fight. There, that's pretty cool. So um, this one's not it's not that impressive. It's only about five hundred slayer XP and constitution XP, but it didn't take me very long. And it, well, you don't even have to unlock it. It's just there it's for just there. a new player. Like everyone has it. What's what's the? Are you gonna? Kill the higher one, show the XP, or are you going to leave? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll kill the higher one. Um, okay, I'll probably gear for the higher one though. Okay, I'll give you this. Give myself. Oh, give myself. guys, if you have any questions in the chat, feel free to ask them, and I'll we, we can see the chat. So, so once there's going to be any new, the idea of this is an improvement. So there's not going to yeah, be. Yeah, there's not going to be any new ones, but um, so we'll get rid of the familiar because he won't let me in the familiar. Uh, we'll fight. We'll fight the gnome. The gnome's pretty good XP. Someone said, how about rotten potato shenanigans for RS3? That is something we could do if you really wanted to. Like, what yeah. could you teleport in? What could you transmog into that would be like the most trolly thing? <laughs> if you, The idea is like, Mod Ronan d yeah, often yeah, does his yeah. streams where he like, turns into, a, I don't know, an, Elysi an AGS or something on the floor. <laughs> That's amazing. Next to, next to some player in the wilderness. Like, I don't know, what would be the best thing to uh, turn into? I, don't, I, I really liked the... Um, um, the what was it? The 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 April Fools that they did. Um, Dragon claws? The, no, yeah. no. The party hats that ran away from you in old school. Oh, that was right. that was that was amazing. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not allowed to use magic. There you go. Bugs live. <laughs> right. Okay. We'll What's get to see the experience rate. Oh. So it's, these will now scale to you. Um. Just to make it a little bit harder, because obviously we're offering a lot more XP. So yeah, we're giving like 13, 14k Slayer. And, and you can do that once XP. a week. And yeah. Now, okay, here's the question. Does it reset on the weekly reset? Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, I've oh, just done go. that straight away for you. So you can see that reset on the weekly reset. Um, total, if you've got all of them, it will give you about 60k of each. So 60k <laughs> Slayer XP a week. For, but you've got to unlock all of the scrolls. Yeah, so, so it's, you know, it's, hard, it's a lot of XP, but then at the same time, the, like, the barrier to entry is massive. Um, so that was one improvement. Are you going to go yep. through them all, or are you just going to? I'm just going to go through, through a few highlighted, highlighted ones. ones. Um, if anyone in the chat wants me to show a specific one, let me know. Um, so someone said you can redo every champion each week. You can do every yeah. champion each week as long as you've unlocked the scroll, and the scrolls yeah. are rare. It's, it's a trimmed completion. It's one requirement. in five k base drop rate, which is just absolutely ridiculous. But um, next thing we're going to go to is the skeletal horror. Um, this guy, like. We, we get some stats, and not many people have even bothered doing the Rag and Bone Man's list. Um, oh, after the, uh, the post-quest list? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, oh, this one's, this, I like this cheat. Right. So, let's go in. So what have you done to... I might already have an elite. Basically, the Skelly Horror gives you a guaranteed elite each week. Oh, so like the chest, like the in, chest your, in, in your the aquarium. aquarium. Yeah. Um, he, he also scales his... his um, his rewards to your current things. This is our th uh, your current like levels. I think I can just kill him out right like this. Oh, <laughs> um, I, I think I've already got an elite, so it might not might not drop one. Yeah, it hasn't dropped one. But I bet you I've got an elite in my um in my bank. Okay, so so you've got a gar essentially a new thing elite, is you yeah. get a guaranteed elite. It elite does warn you before you go in if you've got um an elite in your bank. Okay. And then mm, the Let's next one, like, because I'd go. Any questions on this one? Someone said I thought it's one in twenty chance of an elite. On it, it is currently now it's one in one. Okay, so you've so changed that. Yeah, I've that changed that to a guaranteed elite each week because one in twenty chance for an elite. You're not going to go out. Okay, your way so for there's that. already one in the aquarium as well. Yeah, exactly. Then Plus, it's, it's an elite, so you still need to roll on the elite 
drops. Yeah. Like you're not guaranteed bank just because you got an elite. You still got to do the elite and all the orb scans. Yeah, and stuff, exactly. So, so um, next thing I'm gonna go to is Phoenix Lair very quickly. To be honest, Phoenix Lair, like I've just made it a lot less hassle. You can just run through now. Is this, a lot of people do this for the pet. You get the pet. Yeah, I saw you, didn't you have it? I saw pet. you dismiss it a minute ago, didn't you? The the, uh, the Phoenix Cycling, no, no, that was the Lava Hawk. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll turn that off in a minute so you can see the uh, the new familiar. Um, no, I won't skip to the boss fight. So, yes, I'm ready. So, now these 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 things, they, they just block walk and they get in your way and they just annoy you. They still block walk in the uh, quest, but um, you can just run through them now. So these used to block walk after the quest as well, when you yeah, used to run yeah. through to the boss fight, so now... The, the, the gathering from this used to delay, you can just grab it and run. Like, we've made it a lot more, so you can rush this a lot more, basically, because people do this daily, like, these reborns would do nothing but, like, annoy you. Um, there is some talk on the forums of me just buffing the reborns. Make them now hit a bit more, hit more? Yeah, hit, hit more. more, exactly. So, just to counteract the fact that you can just run through now. Are you thinking of going with that, or...? Um, yeah, actually, um, I, m I might up, up the damage a little bit. Like, it's 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 a, it's heavily up for discussion because, you know, do you want to have to take food to do Phoenix Lair at the end of the day? Um, but I'm like, I'm totally not adverse to doing it. Can the players still give you feedback on that? What they want to yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so give me feedback on the D and D improvements. So D and D improvements on the ninja forums. On the ninja forums, yeah, and just let me know, and um, I'll happily add scaling because add scaling doesn't take me very long to do. What's the, um, are there any, do you want to, while you run through, do you want to go over any that you are not going to go and show, but you have reworked or improved? Um, so, familiarization, we've familiarization. made it, people didn't like the RNG with when it was going to start. So, it's still once every two hours, synced, every world is synced, but it's at the beginning of the two hour window oh, okay, now. okay, that's alright then, that's a bit nicer. Yeah. When you go and find the, because um, you should just talk to, is it pickup yeah. sticks you talk to? And he'd like to say like, oh, yeah. it's sparkling now, so where you have to go find it. Yeah, so yeah. it's just more. You still have to go find it, but the, your, your scheduling is a lot better. You don't have to like um, keep asking him every half an hour, like when is it going to be? Yeah, the triple charms thing, you get now get a ticket. It doesn't happen the second you finish, so you can schedule familiarization and your triple charms at Water Fiends to like whenever you want them. Oh, okay, that's quite nice. Yeah, court cases. Court cases. We've removed that fourteen day barrier to re do another court case. The biggest change, I think, is I think that you don't have to do the tutorial. Okay, so I'm always winning, right? I've never had a court case. Why have I never had one? You have to do a tutorial before you ever get one. Just yeah. like, I only found that out like a few days ago. I was like, I did not know that. Um, but yeah, that that's gone. Okay, um, we've we've slightly improved the rewards for for court cases because we thought like w the time that you spend there, you're not getting what you what you actually want. Um, or is this, the, is this the new pet from... This isn't a pet, this is um, a new familiar, new familiar. so I'm okay. just going to undo the familiar override. So, this is a new pet, this is the Reborn Phoenix. Um, all Phoenixes now give you a passive fire making level boost, but that doesn't really matter so much for bonfires. Um, so what the Reborn Phoenix will do is... Oh, we're getting told off for not talking to them. Um, <laughs> Sorry guys, I've just complete cold cases, court cases. I've um, sorry guys, I'm just rattling things off quickly because we've got a lot to get through. But um, we will come back to you. Uh, what this thing will do is it will give you a chance to burn two logs at a bonfire instead of one. Oh, that's quite cool. So it will slowly, f slowly Im improve your XP rates for fire making. And then how would I go about getting that than the the reborn phoenix instead? Um, so the Reborn Phoenix is made in the same way as you, you, the current Phoenix, okay. but it's a little bit more shards and it's two Phoenix quills. Okay, fair enough. Because yeah. the old one used to like burn log, use log on it, burn log. Like, do you remember you used to do that? Like, oh, you had <laughs> the Pyre Fiends, yeah, <laughs> God help, God help us. And what else are you going to show? Which one is going to show? Bork? Is that on you to show or not? Uh, show? Yeah, Bork is. Um, but the, not much has changed with Bork. Um, we do have I do Evil Tree instead then, or do you want to show it anyway? The, the only thing to offer any real note on Bork is that the hard um, Varrock armor elite, so the level four armor, um, has a teleport to Bork on it. Once okay, per day. so you don't have to you don't have to risk running. I guess you don't anymore, but you yeah. used to like risk dying to the bronze dragon on the way. Like you'd be <laughs> yeah. on the way, but the yeah, you have to have like the elite Varrock diary in order to do it. Um, so just give you a teleport straight there. That's but you nice. can only do it once per day as well. 
We can only kill the port once. Does he still give the same number of like guaranteed charms? Uh, so we've moved the improvement that was on the Elite Diary to the Hard Diary because speaking to players like people that have done the Elite Diary don't really need to level summoning, so why they don't even need to come and see Bulk. Okay. And then final one, Evil Tree. There was a question about Evil Tree. There's a few yeah. questions this week about Evil Tree. Some of the Evil Tree questions were about adding things like crystal trees to the Evil Tree. Now you can do those. Or well, they want a, cr an e a crystal Evil Tree, yeah. or do they want... Um, like the the auto banking on the like crystal geodes. I think they want a crystal evil tree with like some like um, that's slightly words. outside of the scope of the improvements. Yeah, like that's not really a ninja improvement. The ones like mahogany and teak evil tree um, as well. Mahogany and teak auto banking, I believe, is what they're asking for. Okay. Um, I've still got to plug that in, but I do want to. So do what it. what are your plans with the evil tree then? What are the improvements on evil tree? Um, so. First thing, we've um, buffed the XP rates from Evil Tree, because we worked out the XP rates you get from doing an Evil Tree were less than Ivy. So why would you stop doing Ivy in order to do Evil Tree? I like so the Evil Tree thing. Yeah, I, I, I like it. It's, it's a nice fun. little distraction yeah. from, from... So we've buffed the XP rates a bit. Okay. Um, you can also burn your kindling after after the, the Evil Tree. So once you've collected your rewards, the Evil Tree will the Evil Tree stump will turn on fire. And you can burn the Evil Tree Kindling for okay. like a lot of XP. Oh, fair enough, because usually you just bank that and then use it next time round on the... Rather than collect it, you like use it, use it next time round to set all your fires in one go. Yeah, yeah. All right, fair enough. The, um, all right, next up we're going to go into, I guess, uh, Falador. Falador improvement. Yeah, do I yeah, have yeah. Falador? I yeah, had the question I'll, somewhere. I'll load the clamp while you talk. Okay, I'm not talking, I'm not talking. <laughs> I need to find the question. <laughs> I, oh, here it is, here it is. So, well uh, Innocent Culprit asked, will we see a graphical rework to cities such as Falador in the foreseeable future? And when I posed this question to you earlier, I showed you the questions, you came back yeah. to me with, well, we can do, um, and this is what we have. Do you want to look at the things to check that they're getting it? The yeah. Oh, I get it, sorry. Right. They are, yeah, they are. All right, cool. Um, so, what we actually, like, when you mentioned Falador, we all laugh because we have actually done a graphical rework of Falador. Um, however, it's currently going through plugins, um, plug into like the content. Um, and what happens when you do a graphical rework is basically all of the content breaks. So, there's a, and there's a lot of content in Falador. Um, we thought we'd show you at least. All right, so. Look at that, Falador <laughs> rework, Falador rework, I don't, I don't know where I, where I logged out. Where did I log out? Are we going to, we're just, we're just by the guards. New world, takes a while to load. Especially, yeah. in the, I guess it's heavily, uh, black screen. heavy graphical area right now. Yeah, so I can't really talk about the styling because I didn't do the graphical rework, but I thought, you know, as, as I'm sat in front of the computer, I might as well show you guys the graphical rework. So I'm just going to look away from this. So we have graphically reworked Falador. Um, so you, it, it's, it's very pretty. Like, um, so all of the buildings have like this kind of nice new stone. Mm. Get, isn't that there's a Falador stone kit for the player in house? That sounds like another big <laughs> job. <in> itself, <laughs> yeah, it? that should be updated. Um, like, I, th I think we found something earlier on that just completely broke. The like, just to show you guys that everything does genuinely break when we do this. So, oh, through the house, yes. So the early on, we like we went up this staircase and that worked fine, but then if you try and come down, it's like nothing interesting <laughs> happens. Like even tiny stuff like this breaks. All the quests. Are you saying the quests is the main thing that breaks when yeah, you try to find? Yeah, yeah. Like all the quest log. Like, so the problem with this is, I guess Mod Calpy, do you want to? Can we unmute Mod Calpy? <laughs> He's <laughs> going to talk <laughs> from the so other. Hey, no, just things like um, you know. It looks really impressive, but like, you know, will the pl players see it any time soon or anything like that? Um, uh, so currently, this is kind of like a side project for the QA team. So whenever they don't have anything else to work on, they come back to this um, and start, you know, test through the quests, work through the bugs and stuff. Unfortunately, we did kind of do a fair amount of testing beforehand, um, like a year or so ago. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, we lost all the test cases, so we had to start from the beginning. So. It's already a large enough project. It doesn't help when the technical is issues with go wrong and we lost the test cases. <laughs> with Tusker and things, like all those kind of other things on the way, I guess it's yeah, it was hard just, to find time for such a large thing as well. It just wasn't top of the priority list of stuff to work on, unfortunately. But so I mean, it, it look, obviously it looks really cool. And uh, you know, that's why we kind of like, several months ago went, no, we really need to get this out. Mm. Um, and so we kind of spoke to the QA teams and 
had a bit more drive behind it, sort of thing. I like the blue roofs, looks nice. Yeah. Guess what kind of blaze you? Just ask, uh, ask for it on Rune Labs. <laughs> then, you, then you might then you might get it. I don't know. No, uh, get it faster. I wouldn't, I wouldn't accept it on Rune Labs now since uh, we've, we've done all oh, this stuff cool. that you can see, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I think uh, you know, with a uh, NXT around the corner, sort of thing, it'd be cool to really get this out. And uh, as a Ninja team, we'll start looking at some not as big as Felador, but we'll start looking at maybe some other stuff as well. Um, obviously, with the expanded draw distance and stuff. Look at the rock the castle's on. Looks cool. Yeah, that is absolutely awesome. I was just going to check out, see if they've updated the um, updated the the old hamster wheel. Um, the, oh, uh, I'm not running anything this way. So the um, while you're looking at that, the the final thing I wanted to go over that we wanted to show today was a ninja request that came up on last week's live stream. Yep. So last week uh, there was a ninja request in the was it in the chat? I'm not even sure. Uh, sure. I think it, uh, it was one of the questions, I think. Okay, so there was a, ninja, uh, a question that came out last week, which was for a ninja request to remove the requirement to wield the, which we're going to get up now for you, to yeah. re remove the requirement to the Staff of the Dead? Was it Staff of the Dead? No, it was the... Um, oh, it was a Scepter, Scepter of the Gods. Scepter of the, Scepter gods, of the gods, yeah. It was to remove the um, level requirement, magic requirement for Scepter of the Gods. Reason being is that a lot of skillers use it, to teleport and it's an item you have to get yourself and yeah. so they want to be able to wear it and a level 30 no, magic requirement no one used like the level 30 magic requirement as a staff you can still use it as a staff but it just doesn't have the requirement anymore. yeah so what i've done is i've just knocked it down to level one so it's got level one magic stats no no requirement um, whilst you own the staff i'm not agreeing with you now what <laughs> you owned the staff i, I did own the staff <laughs> like if if you did use set of the gods as a high I'd like level, to, I'd like to know how many, pl how many, how many people, people <laughs> made with Scepter of the Gods, yeah. We'll find out when we because actually you, you've it. you've got to commit to get Scepter of the Gods, <laughs> so I don't know who's using it <laughs> to actually mage with it. All right, there we go. Uh, so, as you see, I'm, I'm going to unwield it just to make sure it's not fake. Level 1 magic. Doesn't have very very good magic stats. And I willed it. And you can now wield it. You can teleport with it on now. Yeah, so yeah. So yeah, for those if you want to teleport to Pyramid Plunder. So for those asking to be able to wield it, if you're a skiller, then there's a small yeah. little quality there of life go. for you. One ninja fix. Yeah. Um, feel free to ask any oh, more ninja Here's fixes. a cool ninja fix I had earlier. Right? You see it has 30 minutes on my bob timer. Yeah. Uh, renew now. I can renew whenever I want. Whenever you want, rather than being within the last yeah, two minutes. Yeah, rather than last 10 minutes. It used to be two minutes. We upped it to 10 minutes. And now it's just like, you whenever you want. So there you go, there's another little ninja fix for you guys. There we go. All right, anyway, we are going to head back over. I didn't plan this through, so I'm going to run while okay. you can... You I'll can close <laughs> everything down. <laughs> there you go. And then... We're going to head back over here. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> um, to go into some more questions. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, someone mentioned that, obviously, we've essentially rebuilt Falador, but we haven't fixed the hole in the wall. So uh, <laughs> maybe we should look at doing that. <laughs> <laughs> what the the one to get through over to Tavoli yeah. is it's still there. <laughs> um, we would want to go through some of the questions in the chat. So we'll get some questions out of the chat. So I mean, feel free to keep asking them as well. From Howring, can we? Oh, I've lost it. Um, can we let the winners of the Room Labs vote to create their own poll descriptions? That's quite an interesting one, actually. Yeah, I've seen a few I mean, about that. people have been sending stuff to me, and we've tried to incorporate it where we can. The problem is with the player polls, we try to make sure that each of the options are fair. So if one person just writes in like, you're gonna get a billion free XP from this, then they're gonna win, you know, so. And you know, some people do make their Rune Labs suggestions very heavily rewards based, whilst others might have something that's about the law and stuff. So I, I, you, I write them alongside like uh, Mod Mark, uh, Mod Osborne and such, and we try to make them fair. Is there a character um, limit? Because it's not massive. There is, there is space. character limits as well, so we do need to fit stuff within um, certain limits. Is there um, any way, I guess Ninja Fix, to link to the Rune Labs? They do. Oh, um, okay. yeah. Uh, so uh, where we you we have like buttons to like take you to the poll form and stuff okay. like that. There's When we have a Rune Labs poll, there is one that specifically takes I've you to <laughs> the Rune Labs page. I've not been good with polls today. I've been, <laughs> <laughs> been playing too much on my Iron Man, so I'm so secluded from like <laughs> everything else that happens. But yeah, I mean, that's I, I understand why um, people from time to time like get a bit upset like you know, they didn't feel like everything's been covered in their um, in the description for their um, Rune Labs option but 
at the same time, you know, it's unfair on everyone else if you have something that's very like OP or something like that within the description like we've had in the past, and that's why we need to make it fair or something. All right, we'll go into another fairly big topic question from Sub Zero, so you know it's coming for you. Oh, uh, yeah. When will you add more magic and range abilities to create a stronger diversity between two-hander and dual wield like there is for melee? Um, so that is definitely on our backlog. Um, the problem with creating new abilities is actually it's, it's surprisingly expensive because whenever you make an ability, you actually need animations for like a whole weapon set. You don't just you don't just it's not like a spec attack where you're just always using that weapon. You know, if you have a, if you make a range one, for instance, it's got to work with crossbows, it's got to work with pistol bows, it's got to work with javelins, it's got to work with knives. You know, you can get carry on. Um, so actually, like creating new abilities is really expensive, and that's probably why you don't get them so, as often as you probably want to. I guess uh, someone else was asking why you, they've had a few from things like the world events, etc., but they've never really had a batch of abilities. Like, here's a batch of new abilities all in one go. Is that something you'd rather do, or would you rather release them one by one from unique areas? Um, I, I think, you know, leveling it out with melee for range and mage is, is something that's entirely fair. Like, it's something that I've seen come up on Rune Labs before. Um, it's just, you know, how badly do you guys want it? Like, we'll give it to you. You just need to, you know, make it our priority. <laughs> <laughs> um, another one from the chat. Uh, when can we see the D&D improvements live in the game? Uh, two weeks time, I think. Mini game spotlight out next week. D&D improvements out the week afterwards. Oh, big spoilers. Let them know. Yeah. It's the only thing they, they already know when Tusker's out as well. Yeah, yeah. What are we going to tell them next week? No. It's the, only <laughs> the release schedule is the only thing I get to spoil so. <laughs> <laughs> How boring. <laughs> okay, you go. <laughs> um, oh, sorry. Uh, just one that I've seen come up in the chat quite a bit is um, Game Breaker title from the beta. Um, whilst the beta is still active, there is still a chance to get the Game Breaker title. Um, obviously, it's something that there isn't like a checklist of stuff. Um, that you have to work through to get it, it is very I much up you to, to us. I thought you had to send a picture to you <laughs> on your Twitter with, I don't know, something in RuneScape, your face photoshopped over it. Um, and then you get like, oh, and then you, <laughs> the you, you don't get the game breaker uh, title yeah. for that, no. <laughs> you can still do that if you like. Um, but, uh, no, um, it is something very much that we decide if we feel like someone has provided a lot of good feedback. Um, submitted good bug reports and stuff, and we feel like they've earned it, we will hand it out to them. It's very much a contribution thing, and it's it's not for just one JMod to say you should have it. Like, multiple JMods need to kind of notice your contribution, so it's no good just, like, submitting everything to me and going, oh, that's cool, yeah, I'll get Game Breaker. It's like, other mods need to see your hard work. Obviously, like, we're getting towards the end of the projects in the beta, so less are going to be sent out now. Um, but yeah, still do contribute, and if your contributions are good, then we'll look to give you it. What, how's it, how's it going with the um, unique abilities on the Hallies in the beta? How are you feeling about that? How's that gone down? I, I, I saw on Reddit people really, really like the, the nicheness of like a Halley doing a 5x5 five five AoE. I think it's definitely nice to have a niche for yeah. some different weapons, especially if they have the same DPS as it's a 2 handle, like, etc. It's definitely something that we've got our eye on to do with like more like weapon categories in the future. So what are you going to do with Warhammer? Well. Nothing, nothing. Guys, in the chat, <laughs> <laughs> what unique... So if you, uh, explain it quickly. So in the beta last week, was it put in last week? Oh, week before. Yeah, yeah, it was last week. Roughly, yeah. roughly last yeah. week. Um, now, if you use certain AOE abilities like Whirlwind, um, it's Quake. Well, it's, is it on it's, Quake? It's Hurricane and Quake. Oh, sorry, not, well, I always call it Whirlwind. Obviously, Hurricane. Hurricane and Quake. Um, if you use that AOE ability with a Halley, it would do, rather than a 3x3, three three, it does a full 5x5 five 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 all, all the way around you by two squares out from your character and damage to all those um, creatures, monsters, whatever is in that range. What would you add to the Warhammer? So, if you want to suggest something in the chat. I don't think insta-kill is a good idea. <laughs> 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 Very interesting for war bands or <laughs> anywhere in the world, you know, something like that. Um, another random, uh, really interesting question. Can we get a revamp of the family crests and paintings shot? I mean, adding a right click, something like adding a right clickable menu option to Serenity so you could see every crest, crest even locked. I remember back in the day, there was the crest, I think it was like a, a bronze colored crest with, like, so your, your rune. Kite Shield, your Rune Helm, it would like paint it bronze with a yellow trim. And that was like if you gave him, I think it's 500k and it's called like the Money Crest or something. <laughs> There's ones for like 
if you go talk to him with a skull, uh, there's loads of random crests, but I think you just have to kind of unlock. I don't think there's any interface for it. Any possibility of adding one of those? Um, I certainly think it's possible. Mm. I don't immediately, you know, I don't immediately think that's going to be anywhere near up the top Not of our kind of like priority, priority list. Is it? Is that something that's like a lot of effort to do? Because it'd be similar to maybe to show how we added the um, fish that you have got so far for the aquarium. Just, is it just something putting similar a nice to that? In interface update to him sounds like a ninja fix. Yeah. I mean, it does, like, you. we could do something small to just increase the usability of it, um, but a kind of more of a rework is, you know, it's going to be more of a, it would be more of a ninja spotlight project type thing, and, yeah, yeah. we've got we've got a long list of those built up now. You don't really see those crests around yeah. much anyway either, do you? Yeah, but I think that's their point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's more on titles nowadays, right? to be honest. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have to sacrifice your you armor okay, and weapon. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you think you'll continue making the seasonal high scores? They've stopped recently, haven't they? They ended in... Oh God, um, I don't think a new batch went back in. Yeah, Smod so Ashes who usually does that. Should have asked last week. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something we want to look at. Um, a, ninja, a ninja's taking that up, picking that up? Yeah, well, Mod, Mod Ashes is obviously in the ninja's team, so it's kind of stuck with him. He was in the mm. ninja team before. It was with him. He moved to the DevCom team, stayed with him, and now he's back ninja team. Stuck with him. Um, we had a brief conversation uh, about it the other day in a kind of brainstorm session. Um, part of the part of the problem with seasonal high scores is they're not very visible. Um, so we probably probably yeah. I think we do want to bring it back, um, but we'll probably want to bring it back with a few changes. Um, maybe get more uh, you know, link it. The, the, uh, link it with more kind of the updates that are coming out at the time, sort so of thing. something more relevant, something a yeah, player yeah, yeah. might actually do rather than something he wouldn't do, like pick up cabbages. Yeah, or we can still run like the previous ones and stuff, but it'd, yeah, it'd be nice. Or you're doing something where it's just a case of like they instead of lasting for a week, is it that they they were they last for maybe kind of like you know, just something that comes in for an hour and it's just like broadcast and it's like for an hour, like it's pick up as many cabbages as you can or something, you know. And, Sort of more thing. spontaneous on the spot. Yeah, and uh, you know, looking at you, because obviously with the high scores on it, you someone like straight away goes in there and um, does a lot to it and like gets a really high score. A lot of other people look at it and go, "Oh, I'm not going to do it now." You know, sort of, I don't have a chance to catch up that person. So if we made it more anonymous, I don't think I said that word correctly at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we we did we hit the high score then. You know, more people might want to because you wouldn't know go a bit and then someone's already won it because we kind of did that with the community recently, didn't we? With the what was it the other day? I can't remember what it was now, but um, Mod John was kind yeah, of posting out like updates. It wasn't it the Easter? Wasn't yeah, it was the Easter, Easter stuff. Um, eggs collected, yeah. was it? Um, so yeah, like I think that gets gives people more drive to try and do it, and then because they're not sure actually and how well they're the doing it, sort of thing. So yeah, makes it a bit more competitive that way. I think I think we need to cover NXT because chat's going a bit mental. So there was a question. It was my, one of my it was my final big topic question, which was it's not there. It's not there. <laughs> it was essentially. <laughs> it was essentially NXT. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. It is big topic question. Um, still can't find it. It's Here just we go. essentially up there. From Kalen one three three seven. Can you tell us a bit more about the NXT client around what time time might it be released? There's been a lot of questions because we did the dev blog showing some of the awesome screenshots from it, but there was yeah. no clarification on I know we've I know my Pips has mentioned, you know, it's it's not gonna be ready until it's ready and that's yeah. how it's gonna be. But you know, are we talking this year? Are we talking next year? Are we talking Yeah, it's two pretty much what I said like two weeks ago, um, question came up before it's when that team are ready to give more information, post more teasers and stuff, they will. Um, it is, as you said, it's one of these projects where it's ready when it's ready. You, you can't just rush it out the door sort of thing. Um, we are very much hoping like the late half of this year, um, but I can't 100% guarantee that. Um, the guys are busy working away with it. We'll have to see, really. So there you go. That's your NXT one. Um, there are a few more questions from the chat we've got on there. Can we get a... So this is from... Ros Rascal Rascal. Can we get new versions of more abilities at the start of the game so it's more engaging for new players? That's quite... Did you want nerfed versions of high-level abilities or just... Maybe lower just scaling. New I think it's a good idea. You mean scale, what, scale them differently? Or? Um, because like I remember when I was training my Iron Man, 
in the end I switched to Legacy and that's, that's quite bad. It was know? at the start, because at the start, the very early levels, yeah. it is just superior because you haven't unlocked a lot of the abilities. Exactly, so like uh, having a, a better ability suite at, earlier on in the game, maybe with nerfed scaling on, like I said, so then it's worth actually getting the unlocked newer abilities. So I guess you mentioned before that adding a new batch of abilities takes a lot of work with animation, with testing, with animation, with balancing, but if it's with a lot of things. So if it's like lower level ones that just get, you know, that hide themselves when you unlock the real one, like it would use the same animation, so it's a lot quicker for us okay. to do that. I mean, a lot more. I think the reason why we don't just put tons in there at the very beginning is so that people can learn them. Um, so I think you, for someone who's already like played through the game before and is coming in as Iron Man or something, you probably do want to see those sort of things in there, but a brand new player might need you might need to kind of like it still to be staggered and stuff, so that would be something to consider if we do look at it. Um, Medman, this is an interesting one. What's the most annoying part of your job? <laughs> That's what he asked. I don't know if you wanted to answer it or not. Um, uh, you? It's, dealing, <laughs> it's dealing with the play. No, I'm <laughs> uh, I can't think of anything it's that's like like annoying. Working with old, old stuff. I was going to say, for you, surely it's got to be the code surrounding monkey madness as everyone <laughs> yeah. seems to go. Like, yeah. I don't know, it's yeah. a trickle from Rowley it's, it's mostly just, like, the game's been around <laughs> for 15 years, um, and, you know, like, a lot of it is old and outdated, and you're like, why are you even doing this? But it's just because it's old. Um, so, but you've just got to work with that legacy. Uh, it wh is what's, what's the worst piece of code you've had to go and, like, I don't know, you've been developing something, it's got a plug-in or work with an old piece of code, and you've gone looked at it and just thought, oh God, <laughs> like... Uh, it's pro probably something in uh, Mauritania. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I named him last week. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just dancing around it. Can you name him again? <laughs> likely it was Shades of Morton, the, yeah. the mini-game, not the quest. Yeah. That, that was quite horrific. I think that might be something we look at the Ninja team in, in the future. I know Mod Hunter wants to do it, the Shades of Morton stuff, so mm. we might improve that. So uh, mm. guys in the future don't have to come across that sort of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, that's uh, some of everyone's... What about you yourself, you didn't mention? Um, <laughs> uh, I guess it's kind of like project manager. Um, I say a lot of what I do is working with people, and so I often have to wait for people to get back to me with stuff. And so for you know, exciting projects and stuff, I'm just kind of like, when's this coming? Come and reply. But obviously they're like busy with plenty of other stuff, so um, you know, you may get back to me in time, but... I'm going to look at you now and say, do you want to know the most annoying part of my job? Waiting for you to implement the uh, <laughs> boss boss mode on Iron Man so I can do it. <laughs> oh, well, that's, <laughs> that's just delayed it, like, even Stop more. delaying it! <laughs> I, want my bo I want my loot share mode for Iron Man! Yeah, okay, we can bump it up a bit. <laughs> Special treatment. <laughs> Gmod favoritism, we'll go with that. Um, any more from the chat? Have a look over there. Any more random from the chat? Oh, there's one there. Um, I'm too blind. It's really big and I'm still too blind. From Wesker767. Is there ever going to be an alternative way of getting into Prifnidus? Field this I guess, one, I suppose. Yes, I take you. You're, you're, the, you're the one of the men behind it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'd say never say never, but there's nothing planned. It makes sense, not just from a, a law narrative perspective, just from a reward progression perspective, that it sits at the end of that quest chain. It just makes sense to do that. Uh, and those, they're not insurmountable quests. I mean, they can be beaten, as many have proven. just needs time and perseverance, and you'll get there. I guess that leads quite nicely into a question we had, and it was from... I'm going to word it exactly how they said it and get it right because it's from the same person as earlier from air alter again but any um it was about the damn, I've forgotten now oh the quest bosses some of the quest bosses that were not released post evolution of combat but the ones that are reworked obviously from before are still very mm. easy is there anything going to be done about that? Anything happening with that? Um, Mod Days has in fact done a lot of quest boss rebalancing and is currently sat in QA. Um, QA are just picking it up when they have some time. So it's kind of like the Falador yeah. rework in a sense? Yeah, um, I guess like you can also speak to like the, the Ninja QA and stuff and see if there's anything we can do to kind of hurry that up along. Um, so I guess from the chat, is that something you guys would want? Um, let us know. Do you want to quickly do a straw poll quickly before the end? Or on it, or? Do we have time? Last question it says there. 
Oh, it says last question. <laughs> I kind of promised you now, but I'm going to have to say n no then. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking over still there. Still, let us know. Give us a yes or a no. Do you want to do it? I say yes, yes. It's Mod Simon's Good. saying no, Hi, so you can yes. blame him. <laughs> <laughs> but you can say it in the chat and we'll gauge it. Um, but apparently that was the last question. So, Yeah, wow. Time... Time flew by. I don't know. Yeah, I probably passed. spent too long on D and D improvements. There was a lot. To it wasn't get that long. Yeah, but we showed some some of the cool things that happened, and you even f now found out when it was coming into game. So there you go. Anything else you want to mention before the end? I have one quick thing. But um, no, I can't think of anything. Anything on your current projects, Rowley? Vampires? Anything like that? Yeah. Mini mini spoiler about a character you're going to meet. Are you going to go into Castle Drakkar and anything like that? Uh, I think we've we've said that. Uh, I'm, I'm, not pre I'm pretty that sure. Here. I'm yeah. pretty sure we've got that out of you already. Uh, yeah. The environment artists have started work on. So I mean, they've done the grey boxing and it's like all mapped out. But they've actually started on some of the fine detail now. That's about where we're at. We are at. All right. Cool. And uh, so the final thing I want to say is that next week we will have a quick look at Tusker with Mod Deg before that goes out. Obviously, you've confirmed the release for, is it the 1st June or 2nd of June? 1st of June. 1st of June. Or th the first Monday, I believe. Yeah, I Whatever think that first week is of June yeah, where okay. we release so every Monday. So. so first week of June. So you will see a quick Tusker, uh, a final Tusker kind of teaser next week um, before that goes out as well. The uh, final thing I want to mention is we have another live stream later on tonight for 10,000 hard clue scrolls. That's at 8 p.m. game time, 9 p.m. BST in the UK. Um, we've done easy and mediums already, so we're going to open 10,000 hard clues between myself and Mod Simon, so that should be fairly interesting. So feel free to stop by and tune in for that as well. Um, I guess that's it this week. Um, feel free to ask questions ready for next week. There'll be a thread on Reddit. There'll be a thread on the forums under general. Um, you can send them to the hashtag, which should be on the bottom of your screen, and uh, we'll make sure we try and get them answered. Thanks, guys. Cool. We'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah.